really neat game written in Python called Sound RTS, uh, which is a real-time strategy game uh, which runs on many platforms like Linux, Mac, and Windows because it's written in Python. And they've actually translated it to a whole lot of languages, which is also pretty cool because uh, you can now, uh, I mean, it, it supports multiplayer and you can uh, now play cross-platform and cross-language, which is really great. Um, maybe I should fire it up. Oh, no. Come on. Ah, wrong, wrong window. So, that's what. Actually, I had to do some tricks to get this working on my Devon machine because uh, there is no Python uh, 2.4 anymore, but with a little bit of uh, hacking around, I got it working. Uh, these games are mostly all self-voicing, so you don't need a screen reader or whatever, so uh, they just pre-recorded the messages that are required to to use it. You can control the volume. There's a little button here on the side. Uh, okay. It's about the middle for now. Just, change. is this mine or generally? Yeah, this is mine, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is yours. Uh -huh. I will control you. Um, for people who are on the upper half of the room, you should probably go to the lower part because then you will have better stereo effect. In the, in the upper part, it's, it's just mixed up. That's it? But it doesn't doesn't play. Oh, you get it. I mean, it does here, but not on the speakers. Ah. Louder, much louder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, even more, maybe. Sorry, no, no. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit more. Yeah. So the menu is self-voicing, so uh, we'll just select single player. Uh, this is like an introduction, so I'll choose that because a uh, full game absolutely makes no sense. So the objective is to actually build stuff. Uh, and what you're hearing now is, uh, I mean, this, this is now one square of the map. I don't know if you know these strategy games, like this uh, big map. Uh, the field is now A1. So this is the usual coordinate system. Uh, and what you hear here is actually uh, that the, the things in this field make, make a sound. Uh, so you, you can tap through all the, all the things that are on this field uh, to have them announced to you. So there, is a, there, is, there, there are woods which contains yeah, wood, so you can uh, exploit that. And that's actually the reason why you hear these, these, these birds. Ah, okay. That's possible. Do you have the uh, uh, centered balance in, in, in the headphone? He I'll check. You have mm. on both ears? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So uh yeah, you can you can tap through through all the things that are here and select your workers or whatever. So just to, to give a little impression, I mean I can not really show you how to com to completely play the game, but uh you can select this peasant which is one of our workers. So now we want to give him to do something like he could go somewhere, but I actually want to, to, to exploit the gold mine. So I select exploit and then I'll just see what targets there. And there is this gold mine to the east, so uh, I'll just select that.
And the neat thing is that you should actually, yeah, you actually hear him now uh, walking around. So he is now walking from the gold mine to, to the town hall and uh, uh, actually bringing gold there. Um, so yeah, that's basically the, the idea of the thing. Uh, you can now, I mean, uh, recruit more workers and have them do all different things and order them to run around and whatever. Uh, and of course, it's 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 stereo based, so you have uh, a little bit of an idea where where these 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 uh, characters are walking to or coming from or whatever. And yeah, it's basically like I mean, one of the very early versions of Warcraft or whatever. So uh, yeah. I guess that's that. Um, another thing is uh, I'd like to show to you is 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 called Top Speed Two, which is a, a audio game for for racing cars. Unfortunately, that's now we are really entering the, the, the realm of, of non-free Windows only software. So I have in this case to use Wine to show it to you. I actually like the name of the company, which or I mean the name they choose uh, as a team because uh, they call themselves playing in the dark. So let's fire this up. Um, how does this game work? It's actually pretty simple. It, it's stereo based. Uh, you can imagine all you need to do is keep the sound of the car in the center of the stereo field. Um, and if you're going into a curve, like a curve to the right, uh, the sound of the car will 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 slip to the left of the of the of the stereo field. So all you have to do is like hit the right arrow to go into the into the curve. Uh, this game is really fun because they've implemented all sorts of things. Like you can play a single game, <coughs> you can play uh, in single user mode, but you can also play in multi user mode, which is uh, pretty crazy. Like three people on their own PCs, and uh, it's it's real fun. So I'll just uh, show you a little time trial because uh, with with other uh, with other cars it's 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 even more complicated to to listen what's going on. I'll choose a racetrack, and of course, I mean, since we are here in France, I'll just choose the France track. And yeah, this is a free software conference, so why not choose the Firefox race car? And we'll just do automatic transmission because I'm lazy. So yeah, that's what happens if you don't have any good stereo here. So So there's also this curve announcer, which can actually be turned off. Uh, it's not really necessary because you can actually play it uh, with, the stereo, with the stereo field only. So we've actually completed one lap. Ah, OK. So I guess that's that. So let's quit that. Uh, 
year. This game is, in my opinion, a really great idea because uh, I would have never thought about this and it's, it's actually very simple to implement, obviously. So, now my browser kind of hung, I guess. What's going on here? Okay, so, uh, following from here, uh, we even have to move to Windows to uh, actually demonstrate this. Uh, I just recently found uh, when I was looking for, for uh, comments by other people uh, for this talk, just recently found this really amazing game, which is actually a side scroller. So I, uh, this, uh, so it's, it's like these, these, these typical side scrolling games where you can just walk to the right and to the left and maybe jump up and maybe climb down something, but it's not three dimensional. And it's all just implemented uh, with, uh, with sound and stereo sound. Uh, it's unfortunately just for Windows and uh, unfortunately only in English, uh, which is, yeah, shows a bit uh, where, where the problems of these games are. Like, uh, it would be really great if these games were more developed in an open and free way so that they could support more languages or more platforms or whatever. Uh, I mean, th this game, for instance, is really developed by blind people for blind people. So. Maybe we can try to fire it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's actually a very dramatic beginning sound because yeah, they they wanted to do something. So we'll just start a new game. And we'll really play beginner because I have, yeah, no chance other way. Now there's this little introduction, which I can't really skip. Uh, the, the theme of this game is like uh, someone is, is is trying to find uh, this this orb in a in a in a orb theme. So it, you can uh, think a little, you can think of it a little bit like an audio version of Tomb Raider. So the, the, the main character is also female and stuff like this. So now if we're in this room, we have every, uh, every uh, item in the room makes some sound that we, that we hear. And we can now like walk to the right. And walk to the left. And like take items which are here like, there's a torch that I will need later. So I, I actually like this game because it's written for blind people, but you need to use torches because uh, otherwise there is no light. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really a funny idea actually. Uh, so there is this, switch thing which makes this repetitive sound which really goes on my nerve. So once I've hit that, you know, it's like in these normal side scroller things, so you have to hit switches so the doors somewhere else uh, be able to open and whatnot. So you can now, I'm now again walking to the right. Uh, I actually know that in the next room there is something which will try to attack me, so I'll just wield the weapon and maybe light the torch. So now let's go into this room. And there is something, which is now uh, dead. <laughs> so uh, there's also, I mean, if you're not, uh, uh, you can also describe the environment around you with the wiki. So there's a swinging rope we'll need to climb upward. And there is a healing potion we really want to collect because if something uh, hits us, we can uh, 